My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're going to be making this delicious crispy skin salmon and I have this Mediterranean sun-dried tomato and basil tamponade to go on top. Ooh, it is so delicious and always easy to make. And we're pairing it with this Gavi wine that I would love to introduce to you if you don't know anything about Gavi. You will definitely love this. Started here in the food processor with some sun-dried tomatoes. You can actually chop this all up by hand with a knife. I'm going a little bit of a lazy route today. So I'm going to first put in the sun-dried tomatoes and our Kalamata olives. And along with that, throwing in some fresh basil. And we're just going to give this a few pulses first. I still like to see the texture of the sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, there we go. And then on top of that, we are gonna add in some red onion. And then we have some capers, capers going in. So we got this brininess from the capers and the Kalamata olives. And just to get a little bit of acidity in there, I want to add a touch of balsamic vinegar to it and a splash of olive oil. And the, uh, the actual sun-dried tomatoes that I used are the ones that are soaking in that olive oil and herbs, uh, the Italian herbs. I just love that one. So we'll just do a few more pulses here. There we go. I don't think salt is needed. I've done this quite a few times because of the Kalamata olives and the brininess of the capers and everything. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That is so delicious. And that's gonna just go right to the side of our crispy skin salmon. Let's get work on the salmon. I have a beautiful piece of king salmon here. It is very thick on the thick side and that's why I like to choose a thicker salmon so I can crisp up the skin. Now I'm giving you very good tips here on crisping up your salmon skin so it is restaurant quality. Let's first buy what we want to do is uh, I would call squeegeeing your salmon skin. So taking your skin, salmon skin and taking the knife and running down the edge. And this is gonna take off any of the excess moisture off of the salmon skin. Of course, we're not using the blade side. We do not want to harm the salmon at all. So we wanna make sure and get all of this wetness and you see the moisture on that knife there. Now, second thing we want to do is we want to now uh, paper dry this. So a paper towel right on to the salmon skin, actually both sides. So even though that top side, we're gonna do most of the cooking on the skin side. So controlling the moisture, and I brought the salmon out 30 minutes before I'm going to cook it. This is extremely important. So you are controlling the moisture, which is the number one important thing you wanna do. Soggy skin is not gonna be crispy skin. Second one, stainless steel, carbon steel, or, uh, or your trusty old $10 cast iron. That is it. I would not veer to a non-stick on this because they just don't seem to work and I'll show you the tricks so your skin does not stick on the steel. Uh, 
So that is important. And we are not salting now until our pan is hot, oil is ready. Then we're gonna just salt the skin, not pepper it because the pepper will burn in that high heat. Uh, we will pepper the actual flesh side of the skin. So uh, let's get some, we're gonna add in some grapeseed oil because I can get that up to a higher temperature. I'm gonna turn it on to a medium high heat and let this pan heat up. And once this pan heats up, I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil to it so I know I can get that to a higher temperature. Our grapeseed oil is ready for us and it is hot. Now it's time to just do a little bit of salt on your salmon skin here. Remember, not pepper. I got a few wisps of smoke in there. You wanna take it, lay it away from you, down and then down. As soon as it goes down, press down slightly on it. Not heavily, very slightly, because the skin will automatically seize up and pull back on you. So you just wanna hold this for about 15 seconds and then release. It is that simple. We're not gonna do anything else now. We are going to now reduce this to a medium. We are on a medium high. Now we're gonna to reduce to a medium. We are gonna now season this side with some salt and some cracked pepper. There we go. Now we are gonna do nothing to the salmon right now. We are gonna let this go until we see the opaque starting to climb it between one half and two thirds way up. We are gonna finish it on the flesh side down for only 30 seconds to a minute. It's that easy. We are gonna do all of the cooking on the skin side down. And even if you don't like skin, even if you want to remove it in the end, what it, cooking it this way keeps your salmon extremely moist. It's so restaurant quality this way. Um, this is a thick piece of salmon, so I'm thinking this is gonna at least an inch and a half thick. It'll probably go five minutes. It all depends on the salmon that you're cooking with. So it could go anywhere from three minutes, five minutes, six minutes. It all depends on your thickness. You just follow the opaque starting to go up the side. And here, let me spin it so you can see what I'm talking about. And so this opaque color down through here was gonna start to raise up. And when that gets up to two thirds, you want to then flip your salmon. Now, as you can see, the opaqueness has gone up. So you definitely need one of these flippers. This is a fish flipper. Just take it, put it butt side down. Now look at that skin. Now I take this, see the fatter side? Take that oil and let it sizzle on the fatter side so it cooks it that way. Now look at this crispy skin. Look at that. That is restaurant quality. There we go. There we go. Now we're just gonna let that cook there for just probably another 30 seconds longer. And that is it. In the meantime, let's talk about this wine, the Gavi. This is so delicious. This is an Italian wine in the Piedmont region. And let me, let me taste. Mmm. Wow. It has notes of peaches and, and a little bit of pink grapefruit with some anise. Mmm. This is lovely. This is gonna pair perfect with the salmon. And our salmon is done. It's that simple. And look at that. We wanna keep that beautiful crispy skin side up. Take a look at that. I mean, look at that. Listen to this. Do you hear that? That is that crispy skin salmon. That is amazing. See how easy that was? Now, let's plate up. I can't wait to eat. Before I dig in, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, 
hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because I have a new recipe every Tuesday. But I can't wait any longer. I have to jump into this salmon. Oh, and by the way, this tamponade, the sun-dried tomato tamponade, I added, I just took some, because I had extra when I made this, and I added it to some rice. Oh, whatever your favorite rice is, and as you can see, I blended it in. It is so delicious in with the rice, and it sort of just brings everything together. Oh, the salmon is just like flaking apart delicious. Look at that. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. And that tamponade, mmm. That is so delicious. It really is. It's that sweetness from the sun-dried tomatoes and the salty tang from the Kalamata olives. Mmm. That is a winner. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff. And we'll see you next week.